right so cwm is offered by american academy of financial management that belongs to us and the qualification is present in more than 150 countries it's globally recognized curriculum and yes wonderfully designed and they are also providing curriculum that means the textbooks in physical form so that is a plus point to this particular program and books have really been written nicely right and once i appreciate a particular curriculum or book that means it is really up to the mark because i have taught uh, so many curriculums i have seen so many curriculums books so that has been the reason i found this to be really interesting books inki bahut achhi hai fine so this is once again the institute is american academy of financial management and they are not offering only cwm if i click here you will see there are so many certifications apart from cwm been offered by afm right so one is chartered wealth management that's what we are going to discuss another is accredited financial analyst chartered economist and one of the wonderful course which i would wish ki once you are cwm you are much more interested in this industry to aapko future mein chartered trust and estate planner wala karna chahiye and this is the program for which i am going to enroll soon main khatam kar lunga uske baad main padhana shuru karunga that is because that's my uh, pedagogy ki nahi sabse pehle mera ye qualification hona chahiye tabhi main padhaunga right so i am prashant cha once again by qualification i am masters of science in finance i have done cfp twice in my life and i am i am also a cwm right so let me guide you quickly with the curriculum right over phone we must have spoken about that cwm consists of total 20 subjects 10 subjects in level 1 and 10 subjects in level 2 fine so let's go so level 1 includes first subject concept of wealth management another is indian and global financial system third is investment vehicles in wealth management measuring investment risk and return this is the heavy subject i am also going to show the weightage of individual subject and in exam also you will find out identical weights have been there not major deviation from it then concept of insurance and risk management role of wealth management in banking legalities in wealth management tax laws life cycle management i can also call it retirement planning and intergenerational wealth transfer and tax planning so taxation as well as estate planning has been covered up here once again so i'll repeat the subjects in a uh, slightly detail so concept of wealth management is going to talk about what is wealth management what is the industry dynamic landscape and there is one more thing which we are going to understand that is time value of money we call it Uh, abc of finance so these are some of the basics which we are going to understand then another is indian and global financial system because wealth managers role is quite comprehensive it's not small and multiple services have been offered so what is happening to indian financial system global financial system so pertinent knowledge of both the area is really important then all investment we have been talked about and this is the curriculum which is also talking a lot about alternative investments and behavioral finance so that has been the reason they their coverage is decent here then measuring investment risk and return so this typically like when we make investments we look at mutual fund websites we find out so many risk parameters which they are using so our job is to understand everything and working on it then risk management insurance planning it covers both life non life insurance then it is also talking about banking how banking system works how bank operate uh, not exactly the case that we want this subject essentially but it is there because wealth management and banking is much more connected with each other so they have also introduced banking here legal it is in wealth management right so it is talking about the indian legal system essentially so different laws have been covered up then taxation that's pretty important another is retirement planning right that is also really important for anybody because retirement planning is anyway the biggest issue in our country and last is estate planning so how properties from one generation should pass on to another generation it has been talked about so these are the 10 subjects 
Now look at it, how it is going to be tested in exam. See, passing percentage in our exam is 50 percentage. And this is the grade sheet. If you score more than 76 percent, that is A grade. Our objective is always to score A grade. 65 to 75 is grade B. Exactly 75 is also grade B. And 50 to 64 is grade C. 50 is pass. So up to 49, it's D grade. And that means you have to repeat. Now we have got gigantic banks, question banks. So which will easily help you if you work uh, the way I suggest. Then it is not tough to score A grade. Apart from that, I also talk about the institute's portal. So once you are enrolled, right, they will send you the physical books to you. Apart from that, their portal is fantastic. Wherein you will find out many of the videos, <clears throat> their PPTs, chapter-wise testing. So many things have been there. So their portal is also an asset for us. We can explore their portal. We can write a test on their portal, chapter-wise, subject-wise, <clears throat> all uh, club together. So they've, they've done a lot. They've invested a lot. So they're charging for it, but that is worth. Okay. Uh, then I'll show you the pattern. So in our examination, the question format is like this. We have one marker, two marker, and four marker questions. There are total... 31 marker questions. So how examination will go on? Initially, they will give you 30 marker questions. Once that section is over, you'll go to another section wherein you will be having a two marker questions. And then you will have four marker questions. So they will come one after another. They are not jumbled. Right? You can go forward. You can come backwards. Everything is permissible. So it's not like that you are done with a question and that will never come back. No, you can recall that question. Then we would have 15 questions of two marks. So that is also 30. And lastly, we would have 20, 10 questions of four marks. That is total 40. So that is how we would have total 55 questions, 100 marks. And we have to score 50 percentage to get through. Right. So understandably, we have to score only half. That, that should be easy. Okay, then understand the weightage. Because there is this very interesting thing they have done. They've also given us indicative weightage. I'm not saying this is the exact weightage uh, which is to be followed in examination, no. So concept of wealth management, that is of 15 marks. Then global system, global and Indian financial system, five marks. Then investment vehicle, 15 marks. Risk and return, 10 marks. So you can understand 15, 15, 10, insurance 10, then banking is 5, laws are 5, then taxation is 15, life cycle management, that is retirement planning is 10, and estate planning is 10. So those chapters or those units which are having 15 marks weightage, they are certainly to be studied first. So our methodology to study is going to be like this. We'll study initially the 15 marker units, then 10 marker units. And lastly, we are going to study five marker units. Right, so this is the concept. This is about level one. Feel free to ask if you've got some question in level one. All good. All good, okay, thank you. Fine. So once you are done with level one, then they will send you, or I can I also share with you the data gathering sheet. So there is a small Excel sheet they will give you in which you have to like meet somebody in real life. You have to gather the data. So that is how you will be exposed to the real life scenario that how <clears throat> uh, data collection is an important exercise in real life because see for wealth manager as well as for the planner it is essential that you have to deal with data provided by the client so they are giving you the format in which you have to collect the data and also exposing you uh, to the real life scenario wherein you sit with somebody and try to gather the data 
ऐसा नहीं है दैट वंस यू आर यू हैव फिल्ड इट इन अ हैफेजर्ड मैनर यू हैव सेंट टू द बॉडी दे विल एक्सेप्ट इट नो विथ माय स्टूडेंट्स आल्सो इट हैज हैपेंड दैट इफ दे कॉल्ड अप एंड आस्क्ड सो मेनी क्वेश्चंस टू द स्टूडेंट्स रिगार्डिंग द वैलिडिटी ऑफ डेटा सिंक्रोनाइजेशन ऑफ डेटा right so if you are feeling a fake data it is very easy to find out for a body that this data does not belong to a real life person so then they will counter question so i'll also guide you for that that's uh, what you can say uh, a couple of days exercise we submit it and then we'll start with level 2 understand what comes in level 2 so once we are done with level 1 then there comes level 2 first one equity analysis the textbook is classic talking about the basic models as well as some of the advanced models then unit 2 talks about all alternative products talking about hedge funds venture capital private equity everything cdo and all those structured products and everything have been covered up precisely and it is so big that in classroom also we have to summarize right they have written it, they have written the chapter and then the entire book uh, so descriptively that we have to summarize it to study otherwise it will take lot of time however we are not going to skip many of the things but we are going to like summarize this stuff third can you imagine that we have a book which is talking about real estate valuation and analysis you must have heard about that real estate investment trust that is read concept as is getting popular nowadays and recently nac uh, in their wide circular suggested that even reads can also be part of uh, the indices and we are going to study everything about it in this particular unit or subject so real estate valuation is a subject then most important is behavioral finance because dealing with client requires communication good listening skill as well as good understanding of the behavior of the client because each and every human has a different psychology right so probably that that way of thinking would be same but everybody has different biases so that has been the reason this subject has been introduced to understand how human mind reacts given a different situation and when it comes to monetary matters the situations at times go bad to worse so this is the subject which is going to help us a lot then relationship management we also call it crm customer relationship management then loan and debt management so it is talking about loans are also there in level 1 they are also there in level 2 then portfolio management strategies we studied risk and return understanding risk in investments it is extension to that particular subject so which is portfolio management strategies alternative investments also talk about derivatives financial derivatives and the derivative strategies they are talked about in detail and tested heavily in examination in unit 2 then one of the subject which has always been a headache for everybody that is international taxation because sitting in india studying different taxation is really tough so they have been asking questions from uh, for the taxation of different countries and that actually become stuff for us to answer many a times so that has been disclaimer given to you in advance then wealth management planning as well as advanced wealth management so these are the two subjects which go hand in hand so advanced wealth management is a case study system it's a case study system so they they are teaching you how do you uh, make a wealth plan how do you uh, like handle the real life situations that that's how it is it is going to go on now i'll guide you with examination methodology of l2 that is really interesting to know 
when we are done with level one and now progress to level two, this is the examination methodology applicable to us. First one, you can see total number of questions have gone up to 85 from earlier 55. Earlier time duration was two hours. I forgot to mention that level one examination is two hours held at Pearson View Center. This examination is of three hours. Marks are 160. And once again, the same categories of question that is one marker, two marker and four marker. You can see the weightage has increased. Equity analysis has been given 19 marks, indicative alternative investment, 18 marks, real estate, behavioral finance. Then see CRM is given 13 marks, then portfolio management, 13 marks, international taxation and trust planning. Trust planning is almost identical to level one. But if I divide both the topics in half half, then also seven to eight marks of international taxation is really a troublesome topic for us. Then wealth management planning is one more. That is like summary of everything, whatever we have studied so far. And last is case study that is of 20 marks. Also, if you can read this precisely, level one, level one will be tested once again in level two, and that is of 30 marks. So whatever we have studied in level one, is once again to be referred. Anything from level one can be asked. You would also be surprised to listen to that. We have got a shariat to be studied in our curriculum. That is Islamic finance is also part of our curriculum, which I've seldom seen in Indian curriculums. So that is also a wonderful thing. You will be exposed to one of the very big community of our world. And they've got unique uh, ways to deal with money. So that is also there in our curriculum. So level one is there in level two as well. So that has been the reason uh, in like tele telephonic discussions, I have said that level two is combination of level one and level two. So you will be studying 20 subjects together and will appear in examination. The marking pattern, however, remains same. And for this also, we do have gigantic banks. So don't have to worry much. We have to target A grid once again in this particular level. So this is how uh, we have got the number of subjects to be studied. And this is the examination pattern. So we've got some question here, like cumulative question, feel free to ask. mind me. Yeah, that's pretty fine. I mean, whatever you said, it's it's very clear. And uh, uh, the subject uh, and the curriculum is very vast, I think. Is it level so? one and two. And uh, the good thing is that it covers almost every aspect of the financials and the other investment uh, uh, you know, areas. Uh, it also includes the uh, uh, world market and everything. So uh, I, think, I think it's it's good to learn. Uh, it's so far, so far, it's 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 very pretty easy and uh, you know, easy to understand. Thanks. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, Dhruvai. Okay, now coming to one more thing, that is, what is the fee structure? Now, as we know, that post-COVID, most of the things have been expensive, right? So, these courses also have been expensive for us. Now, they've given different uh, pathways. Now, as of now, we do have everybody from compulsory pathway. That means we will be writing level one and then we'll write level two. For professionals with relevant work experience, they do have a separate pathway that is experience pathway, but fortunately none of us is eligible there. So I'll be focusing here. We are going to follow compulsory pathway. Right? So anybody who is 10 plus two is eligible to enroll. The fees, they are charging, they are divided into two parts. One is that you are only enrolling and you are getting access to their online content. So then that fees is 29,500, but it is strictly recommended. It's not recommended. I would say it is mandated that you buy the physical books because their physical books are mind blowing because it is, uh, they are well-designed. 
they are well printed well binded and it is a set of total uh, nine books set of nine books level 1 has five books which includes 10 units and they are pretty big and level 2 has four units uh, four books and they include uh, 10 further units so there are nine books and say if i uh, recollect the size of the courier which was delivered to my place it was used to be like uh, if you can see my lower hand and upper hand if it fits it's it's like this is the kind of size of bundle which is going to be delivered to you so physical books are required they are not very expensive so we are going to pay with gst because 30500 is institute fees above that is charged by government so our fees is going to be 35990 and the registration is valid for 365 days so that is also the place wherein we can plan smartly that's wherein we can start studying and say after a month or so we can enroll with the body so that you uh, naturally get some more days of extension exams are held every month so that is also not a big concern and they are held between 10th and 20th of the month sundays are excluded though their site says that sundays can be returned but we are some new centers in our city do not remain open on sunday and sunday hasn't been exam day here but then you can check with peers and view that in which all cities they are providing exams on sundays but that's easy peers and view has multiple time slots so you can select any of the time slots and you can appear exams are held monthly and results are also also instantaneous that means once you are done with exams immediately the result will be displayed on your screen and the print of the same will be provided by peers and view to you this is enrollment fee what about exam fees examination fee hasn't changed it they have kept examination fees same it is 3450 per attempt and it is same for both the levels usually what happens in many of the examinations we have seen that as you progress your examination fee increases like it is i have seen in cfp ac ca sima everywhere that thing is happening so is the case but here it's good for us that fees remain same throughout it's per attempt so if you make a total of both say 7000 for this and 36000 for enrollment so it is total 43000 to be paid to the body nothing else once you are done with level 2 that is also an interesting thing to be done once you are done with level 2 you are also supposed to pay one more fees to the institute so that is written nowhere here as i am telling you from my experience because that is called certification fee if you want it immediately then you can pay it or else you have fair amount of time wherein you can apply apply the same right now what is that certification fee that i have cleared my examination definitely i am doing it for a purpose i want this uh chartership to be mentioned with na- my name yeah we know the full form of it chartered wealth manager and the chartered word is really heavy like in indian context so i want that uh, qualification to be written with my name so you cannot write it the way we do it for masters program every professional program has a membership mechanism with body right each and every like talk about ca uh, cs cma cfp cwm cfa acca sima every institution has membership mechanism so wherein uh, once you are done with level 2 and you are also a graduate at the same time what you can do is you pay institute the fees wherein they will ask you to make a wealth report that is a good exercise that you will actually make a wealth report they will give you the database based on that you have to prepare entire report a plan and that is to be submitted to the body they will assess your wealth report if there are changes they will send it back to you you make changes you once again submit and once that report is up 
approved, then you can claim CWM. I'll also share the certification of one of my students who has claimed it recently. You will say. However, uh, there is one more question which will come to the students who are UG. I'm not BCom, then what should I do? You can still do one thing that you can apply, or you can pay membership fees. You complete your wealth report immediately after level two, and then you can just put everything on hold. As in when you become graduate, right? You can claim it later on. And then at that point of time, you don't have to do the wealth report once again. So they've got a lot of flexible structure. Right? So this is how the entire uh, curriculum works.